it is Hearts the Kitty, and today we are going to be doing the 1,000 subscribers Q&A video. I never ever thought I would get to 1,000 subscribers, but here we are, and I am so thankful for all my subscribers for supporting me throughout this journey. Just thank you to everyone who supports my channel and likes my videos. It really means a lot. Thank you so much. So without further ado, let's get on to the questions. Okay, first one. So at Barking Doggo says, how long have you two been dating? And what's your plans for the future? Being your channel, relationship, etc." So Kitty and I have been dating for almost two years now. In June, it'll make two years that we have been dating. My plans for the future, I am currently going to college and I'm trying to get an associate's degree in medical assisting. I want to get stable in my job and save up enough money so when the time is right, me and Kitty can have a place to live together. And one day we will get married. Cannot wait for that day. <laughs> That'll be so exciting. And following up, we have at Bat Dragon Studios. How long have you two been dating? And how did you meet? If that's okay to ask. And yes, of course, it is okay for you to ask. I love telling this story. So, of course, me and Kitty's been together for about two years, and we actually met through Instagram. It was one fateful day, I received a DM, and it was, hello. It all starts with hello. And we started talking, and we were just friends at first. But then, I started feeling this feeling I never felt before. And I was like, okay. I really, really like him, but I don't know how to tell him. But it turns out he was feeling the same way about me. And at that point we already exchanged our numbers and we were full on texting at this point. And then he sent that text that he had feelings for me. And I was so daggone happy. I don't know how to describe it. It was so overwhelming with happiness when he sent that text. It was the best day of my life. Well, the real best day of my life was whenever we actually got to see each other in person and all the times that we've seen each other in person are the best days of my life. He is truly a blessing. I strongly believe God had a plan for us and he brought us together. And I am so thankful to have him in my life. And speaking of the man himself, we have at Foxy Kitty and Hearts 248. Congrats, babe, I'm so proud of you. I love you. Also, I'm curious when your next animatic or animation will be. You're very talented. Let me tell you, Kitty is amazing. I love you so much, darling. You are the best. I just love you so very much. So I have this project that I'm working on. I plan to have it done around June. Uh, it's going to have a lot of frame by frame animation. It's gonna be like less tweening and more frame by frame. It's taken me quite a while to do. I'm working, still working on the sketches and everything, but I hope to have it done by June. And June is a very special month for us, so I really hope you like the upcoming animation. I'm not telling you what it is. You'll find out. <laughs> I love you so much. And hmm, let's see who this annoying person is at Melilo Axolotl. Can I play Beat Saber on your headset, sis? XD. <laughs> Jokes aside, what animation do you plan to make next? To answer your first question, maybe. I don't know. Buy your own headset! I'm kidding, I know you're working towards it. And the second question, I am making an animation for Kitty and I's anniversary. And here we have at Nate the Protogen. How long have you been animating for? So I have been animating for also about two years. In total, I've probably made about around 14-ish animation memes throughout that time span. And I have gone from something like this to this. It's still not perfect. I'm still learning how to animate. Every animation is a part of the learning process, but I think I've significantly improved within two years. And Alistair Dutchie says, what made you become a furry? So basically how I became a furry. Back in about 2019, 2020, around the beginning of the, the C pandemic. Let's just say that. I don't know if YouTube will kill me for saying the real word, but I'm just gonna abbreviate. I played Animal Jam. 
And if you don't already know, Animal Jam is a MMO where you become an animal and you dress up, you play with friends, and just have a good time. Maybe you get scammed by a bully, I don't know. <laughs> but around this time, I got my first Instagram account and I made it to post Animal Jam content. And I would of course follow other people who also posted Animal Jam content. And some of them tagged with hashtag furry, hashtag furry art, hashtag furry fandom, etc. I got curious and clicked on them hashtags. I'm a furry. That's basically it. I just, I was like, oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. I want to do this. So boom, I became a furry like that. I ended up stopping being in the furry fandom for about a year because at this point my parents didn't know and at that time it wasn't all the litter box crap that there is today but it was more stuff about I was worried about them thinking I was I knew about all the negative stigma furries had then so I was afraid to tell them and then fast forward about 2022 I meet Kitty. I was a little bit nervous to tell my parents because that's when the whole identifying as an animal and using a litter box crap was out, but I had to tell them. So then it actually went off well. I just had to explain what a furry actually was. And they're somewhat cool with it. I mean, they may not 100% understand, but they still love me. And they know it's just a cosplay and they really like my fursuits too, so that feels good whenever they really like my work. And honestly, telling them was the best thing I could have ever done because at that point I was dating Kitty. And then from there, we got to see each other on the 31st of December. And we actually stayed together until New Year's, which at the time we, we both live in the same time zone, but the place where we met up for the first time was an hour behind. So it was like one o'clock in our native time zone. And we, it was like one o'clock in the morning in the, the time zone. And we we're just like, happy new year, yay. <laughs> it was great. Just that first time, it was so magical. And the second time, and the third time. And hopefully we're gonna see each other at least once or twice during the summer. So I'm so excited for that. Okay, at Ella Ben Shoshan 6159 says, what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? And also, what app do you use to draw? My favorite flavor of ice cream is strawberry. It's pink, probably part of why I love it, but it's just really good. I mean, if it's like artificial strawberry or real strawberry flavored, it's so good. The app I use to draw is Procreate. I also animate on Flip a Clip. I'm trying to learn Procreate Dreams. But so far there's no lasso tool yet so just hoping that in a future update that comes out because it seems like a really good program but it's lacking a lot of basic features so for now i'm still using flip a clip and they also ask what is the answer to the universe this is more of a vague question i'm just going to answer the best that i can i'm going to take it as in like a world peace type thing just don't hate anyone hate is never needed I firmly believe that. I mean, even if you may not agree with one's decisions or life choices, you don't need to hate them. We are all humans. No matter what one person believes in, no matter their race or their gender, anything like that, it, hate is never, ever needed. So really, everyone could just be kind to each other. I think that is the answer to the universe just kindness. I know it's a lot, especially in today's world, we see a lot of more really mean people that just hate on others. I wish that people could be nicer. I pray that this world will become a better place. But I hope by bringing some joy into people's lives, that even if I can make just one person happy, I can help the world out just a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you once again for 1,000 subscribers. This is something I never thought would become true. My dreams of always at least being a small YouTuber have come true and they are just growing. So I want to thank all of these amazing people for asking me questions. And especially thank you to my boyfriend Kitty. You are absolutely amazing. And thank you to God who makes every single little thing in life possible. 
hope you all have a wonderful day. And if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I will answer them as well. Remember, you are amazing, you are loved, and you are worthy. Have a good day, y'all. See ya!